and then this whole area will be all handicap accessible for yeah, you. Yeah, basically. If I were to offer you $500 cash, would you take it? Yeah. We're at $600 so far for a new bathroom. Game? Sounds good. 150 for the tote. Got another one. Maybe that's something we can discuss off camera because I, I don't really know. Secret conversations. Secret conversations. Probably close to half of what that one did. You think? Oh, yeah. Meet me in the middle at 200. Sounds good. 200 for the chickens. You can see her right, right hip and right leg pretty bad, and it's not affecting your sleep every night now, so. All right, well, hopefully, hopefully this helps. Hours upon hours on the road, driving through multiple states, through rain, storms, there'll probably be hail, there'll probably be snow as far north as we're going. We're headed up to Michigan to go meet one of our fans, one of our viewers, to take a look at their collection. They've got a lot to sell, and we're going to see if we can help them out. Finally made it. We're pulling in. There's a dude right there. Looks like he's waiting for us. Aaron. Aaron. Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. We've been talking over email for how many days now? Uh, probably about a good week and a half, two weeks. Week and a half, two weeks. Uh, Christian and I have traveled through multiple states many, many hours. Why? Why are we here? Uh, my grandparents' collection of stuff. It's grandma and grandpa's? Yep. Okay, more grandmas or more grandpa's? Uh, one couple. It would be my dad's parents. Okay, so... Um, if, if we're able to make a deal today, what are you going to do with the money? Uh, remodel the bathroom because my wife is disabled. So it all comes down to you want to sell so that you can remodel for your wife. Yeah. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. I understand because I like a lot of, I like room for pushing. So this is good. Is this wall coming out? Yeah. So this wall will completely come out here yeah. and that's the shower, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's, what's all going to happen in here? Probably have to demo this all out of here. Take and that all off the top. That's why it needs to be repaired because it, it's not settling right because the sub four, when they put this in here, when we had the floors done and got the place, yeah. um, they did a really crappy job with everything. And well, that's falling that, apart now. Crappy job in a bathroom, usually a good thing. Right. Right? Right. <laughs> unless, unless it's construction. Okay, so shower's all going to come out, wall comes out, yep. toilet reset, tub comes out. And then this whole area will be all handicap accessible for yeah, your Yeah, basically, you keep the toilet here and we're gonna yeah. have a walk-in shower and stuff because the lip on that one is yeah. quite, quite a bit high. That'll be, that'll be incredible. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on the road for a few hours, Aaron, so if I could just have a little bit of me time in here, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, that's fine with me. Be right back. This is the living room, right? Yes. So the whole living room is filled with the collection. Uh, where, where should we start? What should we look uh, at first? Got well, we've got Elvis stuff. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no Elvis. <laughs> All right, I can already tell you no Elvis. I'm not taking any Elvis back to George. How much Elvis stuff do you think you have? Uh, these two totes here. That's all Elvis. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna say no. I I understand you need a new bathroom, but no on the Elvis, and we'll keep that all between ourselves. We will not tell George. Uh, you did say something about garbage pail kids, didn't you? Garbage pail kids. Wait, I got wait, those you, right over you, here. He knows where they're at. He knows oh, where they're at. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're right here. Yeah. Okay. Were so, so were these grandpa's or were these yours or? When I was young, I got into it, and he found a uh, kind of a niche for doing cards because he was a a records collector, cards and records. he made friends with a local card dealer, and they were both Elvis fans, so they would buy, sell, and trade records and cards, and he had an extensive collection of garbage pail kids. Um, my grandmother used to open wax packs and make sets out of them. Really? And I had a lot more than this, but I already kind of sold them. Um, oh, really? You sold ago. them? Be yeah. You sold them before you got to me. Okay. I didn't know. This is Nasty Nick right here. This is 1A. This is from the original series. This is the first card in order. So he's, uh, he's pretty desirable right there. This is Adam Bomb right here. Adam Bomb was the poster child for quite a few series. When you think Garbage Pail Kids, you think Adam Bomb. So cards, uh, particularly the, the the grading of cards, which none of these cards are actually graded, but um, grading of cards increases value. But what they're looking at is, for example, you see here on Adam Bomb. So one of the things they're looking at, they're looking at corners. You see that corner is rounded there, that corner is rounded there, that corner is rounded. That one's pretty sharp. So three out of four corners are rounded. Not good. 
But the other thing they're looking at is centering. You see the centering here? This has a much bigger margin than it does over here. The centering is off as well. So I can already say that the cards that, the, the most valuable card in this collection is this card right here. But unfortunately, because of the corners and the centering, they're also looking at edges and they're looking at, is there any gum marks on the surface? Is it clean? But uh, unfortunately, that one's not going to be in the best condition. And then Nasty Nick is a really cool one as well. And, and uh, not that all the others aren't cool too, but uh, this, is, this is my childhood right here in cards and stickers. And I've been going a little overboard with, with buying Garbage Pail Kids right now. Not just the cards, coins, cereal. I found Garbage Pail Kids cereal. You name it, I probably have it right now. And then this is probably in order of the series, yeah. right? In order of the series, going all the way through. I oh, just careful. bought. YouTube might get you for that. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. I just, I just bought um, series one through fifteen. I bought series one through fifteen complete sets, all bindered, like two weeks ago. Do you know what series this goes up to? Fifteen. Oh, so there you go. There's yeah. series. There's series one through fifteen. Right there. Okay. I gotta know. What do you gotta have for the garbage pail kids? I was only looking at maybe a hundred dollars per set, so it would be fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks. We're gonna be way off in regards to that. Are you set on fifteen hundred bucks? Mm, something close to it. We're gonna set these aside. We're gonna set these aside right over here. All right, let's take a look at some other things. So what's the story on this here? I just found it in Grandma and Grandpa's stuff, going they, through their collection. They just had it? Yep. Okay. I don't see any markings on the front. We've got... What is that? A, another fine product by Dave Co. But I think that's probably... That's probably the frame. Maybe? No? No? That would be... Yeah, that's printed right on. It's it printed like right that. on there, so... The frame was ten cents, maybe right there. Uh, have you looked? Have you looked online? Found anything in comparison? No. Check eBay, marketplace, everything. Here, look at this though. This is one of the things when we're digging and we're picking. One of the things we're always looking for: nice dust. And this has got it. So that's got one of the signs. I have no idea what the value of that would be. We'll have to. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna need your help. We're enlisting all of your guys's help. What in the world would the value of this be? Again, there's the back, Dave Co. It's a wood product, Peabody, Massachusetts. It's got and a 10 cent frame. It's uh, a 10 cents frame, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, that frame could be a dollar now. What we really want to know is the print. What would the value of something like that be? Cards? Yes, cards. More cards? More cards, 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 cards. What kind of cards did Grandpa? Uh, Any, anything. Anything. Every. You told me it was cards. <laughs> well, it's mostly cards. <laughs> it's Elvis cards. Wait, what's underneath Elvis here? Oh, uh, let's get some Elvis out okay, of here. Okay, let's get... Uh, oh, there's cards. There's cards right there. 90s, okay. Hunter, the hottest rookies right there. We've got uh, 89, 88, 89, hottest rookies. I think this is the same as the first okay. one here. 89. 89. Uh, and you've been in, you've been collecting cards too, right? Um, here and there. So you know, eighties, eighties, nineties, mass produced, yep. the whole deal. What is this? Uh, it's a old magic, kind of like magic. The oh, Batman, but it was about like vampires and other things. So it's vampire magic. Yeah, my wife bought me a whole set back when we were just out of high school and stuff, and huh. never really got a chance to play it, but I've held on to it since. This so. is the first time I've ever seen it. They've actually changed the name. They think they changed it to a Vampire Masquerade before they quit making it. Oh, really? So that's the original title and everything to it. And that's the original deal right yeah. there. All right, so I like I like the baseball cards. And is this... Oh, that's probably part of the... That's the manual. That's the manual. Yeah. Okay, so you got cards in it. I see another tote I really like. Are we allowed to move some oh, of yeah. these totes? Yep, yep. See, I see that tote right there. Is this... Is this what I think it is? Star Wars? Yes, it is. Is it really? Okay, we got to look at that. Um, we got Xmas Baby Scanner. Is that a scanner? Yeah, right. a scanner. Let's, uh, oh, here we go. 
Oh, I see Kiss too. Oh, oh wait there's a minute. A Kiss tote. Yep. Collector cups. This has collector cups in it too. All right, here we go. Okay, what do we got? We got Hardy's cups, the moose, the moose, uh, little comic cups, Marvel, more Hardy's. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that right there. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. I like these cups. Look at that. You, you, you had me at hello, man. You had me at Ghostbuster cups. Holy cow, there's some Ghostbuster cups in there. What else we got in here? We got a little bit of... There's some Homer Simpson. There's a little bit of everything in here. Pick, you must. I, that wasn't me. That was that was, that was was Yoda. Okay. A bunch of G.I. Joes. Oh, are these the G.I. Joes? Yep. Okay, so G.I. Joes. Uh, separate packaged. This was part of his collection, too? Yeah, it was what my grandfather was finding. So individual G.I. Joe's accessories. Well, that'd be hard to put those all together, but man, how cool is that? Okay, very cool. I'm just handing it off now. You're fine. Usually that's Patience's job. Yeah, usually that's what Patience ends up doing. <laughs> Look at that. There, there's one for you. We're good. We got all kinds of... Oh, antique cap guns? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, let's take a peek. All right. That's the Luger, not to be, not to be uh, uh, misidentified as a as a hawker. You don't. That's not that kind of Luger or a Lugi. And what's that one there? I don't know what that one is. Some other. I bet you this is a knife. Nope, that's a tiny little cap gun. This is a cap gun. Yep, and you'd have to watch your fingers when it would go off. Yeah, you've got a made in Hong Kong. Yeah, and if you take it and pull like that, you can you put, put one cap in cap there. In there. Yeah. And then you got to watch your fingers <laughs> when you pull that trigger. <laughs> All right, that is something I've never seen before. That's pretty cool right there. All right, what else is down in here? Legos. Play school toys. All right, so Legos, cap guns. Oh, man, that's kind of cool. A little bit of Star Wars. We've got, um, all right, this should be Tiger right here. Yep. This should be 80s. Let's see if we can find a date. Nope, 90, 90, 1990. So it's a little bit later. Oh, that's Bo, Bo knows. Yep. Bo knows baseball, Bo knows football. Check that out. Used to be a huge Bo Jackson fan. Everybody was a Bo Jackson fan. Bo, Bo, Bo could do anything. A-team guys. Got the A-team guys. Oh, look at this one. Some more Star Wars down here. You got just a little bit of everything in here. All right, a tote like this. All right, we 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 don't we haven't made a deal yet. A tote like this, especially with Ghostbuster uh, cups in it. What do you think you got to have for an entire tote like this? I have no idea. You got to come up with an idea. Well, if you were to come up with an idea, what would you have for a tote like that? What what kind of price do you put on it? Just based on the Ghostbuster cups alone, they're going on eBay for about eight bucks a pop. I think there's about twenty of them there, so probably if not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve there. Then you got the Coke cups. And there's probably more there. Yep. yep, you got more there. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind is not selling on eBay. So. One of the things Christian and I often talk about, the easiest thing in the world is to buy. The hardest thing in the world is to sell. you got to build up an entire business or you just sell on eBay. So the reality is for us, it'll either go on eBay, which this stuff probably won't. We'll probably auction off to our to our YouTube subscribers and our fans. So we'll just buy in bulk and then we'll then we'll we'll pass the savings along. So give me an idea on a tote like that. What do you got to have? I don't know, maybe 100 bucks. Hundred bucks for this tote, with with the Ghostbuster cups. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred bucks. I'm giving you hundred bucks for that tote. Hundred bucks. Hey, I got something else to throw at you. I know you said you wanted fifteen hundred for the uh, garbage pail kid cards. Mm -hmm. Don't die on me, okay? <laughs> if I were to offer you five hundred dollars cash, would you take it? Yeah. We're at six hundred dollars so far for a new bathroom. That is uh, that's a heck of a beanie baby tree there. You got them all individually bagged up and everything. Yeah. What do you got to have for the Beanie Baby Tree? Uh, I don't know about the Beanie Baby Tree. I got a whole other box to go with them. I was oh, thinking, more beanies? Oh, yeah. Do you know where it's at? I just brought up some uh, beanies from down below. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, that there's a big beanie. 
big tie right there. And we know how much the fans and the viewers, they love beanies. George actually loves selling the beanies. Look at all these. Look at these, Christian. Okay. Oh, McDonald's it. beanies. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the beanies over here. Look at all the beanies over here. All bagged up. The whole deal. Now, remember, we've shared this with you in the past. That uh, one of the things you want to do with beanies, you want to check the tags. You want to see if there are any errors. The real money on beanies is for error beanies. Now, you're going to get on eBay and you're going to see beanies that have sold for 5000 6000 7000 10000 15000 This is the reality of those. Those are not real sales. That's not to say that there aren't beanies out there that are worth that with errors, but typically that is for money laundering. So, if you don't know money laundering, go ahead, Google that yourself. You can figure out how that works. And then different people who are trying to clean that money up so that they can use it in the, the, the current climate, culture, and, um, and economy, they, they try and clean it that way through eBay. It's not real sales all the time. So you're looking for, you're looking for error tags. Mm -hmm. You're looking, and that takes a lot of time, time that George and I do not have. So one of the things that we love to do is just, pass the savings on to our fans who love to sort through that kind of thing. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Is that a Princess Diana? All right, this is the Princess Diana right here. So Princess Diana, the original, has some value, and I don't know what the value is off the top of my head. And uh, if that is the original Princess Diana, I'm going to keep her inside there. You'd want to look at the tag, and you see the protector on the tag as well. All right, all these beanies. What do you got to have for all of them? Uh, you want to keep the tree, right? No. <laughs> oh, the tree goes. All right. Grandmother had that made just for the beanies. Did she yeah. really? Yep. All right. What do you got to have for them? We got beanies everywhere. What do you got to have? I've never taken account. I have no clue. I've never taken account either. <laughs> I'm only taking account of the miles driven. What do you got to have? I'm sure we can come up with some kind of agreement. 250 for the tote? 250 for the tote. Are all the beanies or just the tote? All the beanies. Two fifty for all the beanies. All the beanies. That's probably about what I'm gonna get for them. Um, One seventy five. Uh, that hurts. Um, so he's asking a price of what I'm gonna get for them, but his his business model is very different than mine. My business model. I have to pay Christian, I have travel, expenses, George, the whole deal. So my business model, because it is so heavy, my expenses increase and increase and increase versus an individual just selling out of their home, you've got limited expenses, right. but you've got no storage. Right. You want you wanna you wanna do other things with your home. So you're gonna hate me if I say a hundred bucks for all of them? No. You won't hate me? No. Will you agree or are you saying no way, no way on the hundred? Hunter bucks. There we go. More cards. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, the Gross Out Gang. Okay, so these are these are like garbage pail kids. They make fun of sports figures, and they're the Gross Outs, the greatest Gross Those Outs the ever. Gum. The gum is. Yeah, those you know, are just gum. Oh, the cards are out of there. I know. Yeah, That's just <laughs> that gum. is just the gum in there. Um, Christian, I dare you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gum right there. I dare you, Christian. No, I, the gum thing's kind of your thing. Christian, I ate gum from 1954 from Guapo's Hoarder House. This is why you should do this, too. You know what? Good point. Good point. Okay, I got you there. I got you there. Uh, the Gross Out. We got the Gross Out gang. So this just looks like a bunch of random cards. There's a Honda card deck. I've seen these before. I love Honda engines. Absolutely love Honda engines. They they last forever. I'm just gonna pop that these over there. These are empties. Yeah. Desert Storm. All right, that's Desert you Storm got... empties. Yeah, those are just Desert Storm books and finished okay. sets. The Gross Out Gang. Now those are full boxes. You got Desert Storm down here. Desert Storm down here. So Desert Storm. If you come across boxes like this, Desert Storm box typically about five dollars a box, if if it's all complete and sealed. Um, for whatever reason, these didn't take off too much, but, uh, it was really cool that they came out with these during the war to help to support the war efforts, which I think is, was, um, would you call that propaganda? Would you call that war slightly, propaganda slightly. or, but 
Uh, it didn't take off as much as the world thought it was. All right, I'm probably going to pass on this. Can I pull, just because this is cool, did, did it come with a piece of tape on there, or did yeah. you guys put it on? Oh, so it's, Everything's uh, the way you got it from his vendor. This, this I just think it's cool. Can I pull that out and set it sure aside? Thing. Okay. That one, if, if I'm able to get that gross out gangs, I know they're not worth much. We find those quite a bit in the storage units. But with it being a sealed box, it's worth a little bit more. And for me, I wouldn't even resell that. I'd put that on one of my display shelves at Hale's headquarters. Let's look at a, let's look at another box. I'm gonna if it's okay, I'm just gonna set this aside. What do we got here? Whoa! Some Domino's pizza. Oh, Detroit Tigers collectibles. We are in Michigan. We are in. We're in a foreign land here. This is the enemy territory, but we got to be friends. We got to be friends. An Ohio boy and a Michigan boy, you know, we can be friends together. Oh, this yeah. this can work. This can work. So what else you got in here? It looks like old newspaper clippings, Detroit Tiger stuff, um, old tough stuffs from back in the day. Oh, back in the day. And then some finished sets, score baseball, tops baseball, like you were saying, 80s and 90s stuff. I don't know if I have anything quite older than that, but... All right, a tote like this. You've got... Without me even looking through every box, because we don't have that kind of time. we got to get back on the road sometime today. What do you got to have for a tote like this? Something like that. I'm only looking at maybe 50 bucks. All right, 50 bucks. Let's put it in the pile. Christian, remember, you're keeping total of uh, the tally. So 50 bucks. Let's do it on this tote right here. Let's look at some more. What you got here? California Raisins. The California Raisins? Heard through the grapevine. Do you remember, Christian, do you remember any of these guys? Remember, I don't know if this was, I don't remember this at all. Christian, how could you not know the California Raisins? This is the first time I've ever heard Can of them. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Yikes. He doesn't know the California Raisins. All right, what's all in here? We've got, um. These are collector's cups. I don't know if these are Cali Raisins, though. These oh, that's Flintstones. Flintstone that's the old Flintstones. Now remember, yeah, Hardee's came out with a lot of these. Remember, do not put these through your dishwasher. These aren't dishwasher safe. What will happen, these decals, they'll actually burn off, fade. Never ever put them through your dishwasher. Okay. Cool Flintstone cups, though. I think these are Norman Rockwell ones that Long John Silvers came out with. Oh, Grandma collected Norma, Norman Rockwell. Grandma's not around anymore, or I'd get them for her. Look at that, the, Hardy, the display right there of the raisins. Holy raisins! Look at Christian. Be honest. When you went trick or treating, did you get a box of raisins? No. You were a lucky, lucky individual because we would get the raisins. You know, and when my kids went trick or treating, you know, as a as a responsible father, one of the things I had to do is I had to go through all of their candy, make sure there's no razor blades, no poison. In the morning, they wake up and they'd be like, "Dad, Dad, where's all the candy?" I was like, "This neighborhood is a bad neighborhood." All you got left is a box of raisins. That's that's what the way it would go in our home. They would get the raisins, them yeah. butterfingers. I actually believe mm. that. Mm. Them butterfingers were good. I got raisin mugs. <laughs> raisin mugs right there. How cool! So there's a little bit of California raisin. Everything. There's a little. That was probably a. That's a tattered one. That one. Yeah, that was one a that little. I, I got one in the box. So you right could there. wear your raisin. Some old school best. Does anybody? Remember oh my best? goodness! I remember best. You could wear your raisin. All right, California Raisin Tote. What do you got to have on a tote like this? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't researched any of this. you got to come up with a number. Mm. I can say 150. I'll tell you what. If you throw in... I don't know the number either. I haven't, I haven't researched it. I just think it's really cool. Uh, I haven't seen the raisins in so long. If you throw in... Where was that? Oh, yeah, the Gross Out Gang. Yeah. The, 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 one, the one box? Yeah. So if, if we throw in the gross out gang box, uh, would, could we do that for 150? We put the raisins sure. with the gross out game. Sounds good. 150 for the tote. Got another one. This tote here, all costume jewelry, right? Yep. Okay. Which George actually, one of the things that George has found out about herself, she didn't know once she once she met me. She loves sorting and and jewelry specifically uh what do you got to have on a tote like this we know it's costume jewelry it looks like you got some watches down know, there I think too there might be a few real pearls in there i was taking your advice and rubbing were you rubbing them on teeth? your teeth yeah, trying to you know that's not dentist approved nine out of ten dentists 
You know, actually, they do approve it, so you can help put their kids through college. Keep doing that. The dentist will love you. You'll just keep going back and back. Trust me, I've got uh, some dental issues right now myself. So a tote like this. I'm Batman. Oh, that's actually Batman jewelry mm -hmm. there. Stick on earrings and... All right, so what do you got to have on a tote like this? Zap! Pow! What do you think? Maybe, I don't know. We can start at 100. Kasunk! Uh, you thinking a hundred for this? Um, Batman stuff is cool. There's even Steve and sorting trays in there for too. Oh yeah, she'll like that. Uh, WWGD, WWGD. Christian, what would George do? I don't know. This, you know George better than anyone else. She would say fifty. Sure. He said yes. He said it works. When in doubt, just go WWGD, 50 on the tote. Yeah, um, these are like northern print sets for the old toilet paper wrappers. Are you serious? So this is the print The print that we would see on the actual wrapping. This is the reality. You could actually get the prints, hang them up. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you would not wipe with this. No, no. Oh, no. no Maybe with not. this if you're desperate. I mean, yeah. but... Sometimes desperation. Mm -hmm. This is this is toilet prints. I remember these stock in the toilet paper in the family grocery store. I remember the actual, the faces on the toilet paper uh, packaging. How crazy is that? You could actually, Northern Paper Mills right there, Wisconsin. You could buy the actual prints. How crazy. They, look at that. Every day. You know what the cool thing about this job is? Even though it's not really a job, it's fun employment. It's unemployment, but it's fun employment. I get to see something new every day that I've never seen before. And this is one of them right here. I've never seen this before. Very, very cool. An entire tote of mugs. Here's Coca-Cola. What else you got in here? A little bit of everything? Uh, another Cali Raisins. Yeah, California Raisins. Um, some local dealerships. Number one mom. If there's a number one mom out there, there you go. Or if you want to get this for your number one mom. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That would go like with our table. table. Yeah. All right. So I'm just curious if there's anything such as this, like I'm going to pass on the mugs, but maybe some of our viewers would be interested. Do you have an email address you'd feel comfortable if they contacted you? Oh, yeah. Let me uh, double check on that. And okay. I'll get one to you. We'll, we'll maybe see on that. I mean, if you want a number one mom mug and uh, help the rebuilding of the bathroom, we'll, we'll see what we can do as far as getting you in contact here. Boxed Hummels. Boxed Hummels. Or Hummels. Or Himmels. 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 Gobel. Gobel. Himmels. Gobel. Okay. Uh, so, boxed Hummels. Now, I got to admit, I don't know much about Hummels except that uh, they were very collectible and they're porcelain and that scares me. And West Germany, they're German, 82. So you've got quite a few Hummels in here. Yeah, grandmother was a huge, she had them in glass display cases and I always, is... I always admired them as a kid. But I mean, th there's no doubt these are cool. My my fear is the porcelain and shipping, mm -hmm. but I I do think I do think that George because they have the they have the foam and the box that George could sell them well and ship them well and and they could potentially arrive to a buyer okay if we were to do a YouTube auction. If you had to, you got two totes of them. If we were yeah. to look down here, so there's enough. These are all boxed as well. These are Hummer Hummer collectible plates. Um, oh old plates! Paper, old paperwork they used to send out. Um, collector's books. I know those go for a decent amount okay. because they are out of print. Um, some really old ones. Um, these are just more or less collector's notes and other books. Okay. Um, I think there's a couple calendars and stuff in there. Um, are there any more totes with the box yes. tumbles? Yeah. This one is so. That one right there. There we can. Oh, there's a whole nother box. All right, there's there's more Hummels. So, whole nother box, and the Hummels are actually in there. Yep. They're in there. They're definitely in there. Okay. 
For the Hummel collection, you said this was Grandma's Hummel collection. Yes. What do you got to have for the full Hummel collection? I don't want loose Hummels. I, we've already seen some loose Hummels over here, and that scares me for shipping. Oh, for, there's probably about a dozen. There's so many. We still see, one would scare me for <laughs> shipping with as many with as many returns as we sometimes have to do because right. of because of breakage. Uh, for the Hummel collection, the box Hummel collection, we'll say the tote underneath with uh, the calendar and such in the books. What do you got to have for the Hummel collection? That I have no clue. I, can't I probably that. even have less of a clue than you. <laughs> Maybe that's something we can discuss off camera because I, I don't really know. Secret Where's conversations. That? Secret conversations. That, is that what I think it says? Well, it's not a small chicken, but... I mean, I, I love me some chicken nuggets. So you have you have boxes of just chicken stuff? My grandma was a huge chicken nut, too. So You know what? I have a chicken nut at home. <laughs> uh, Hale's she headquarters right now, there's a chicken nut at home. She's, she, I'm telling you, she's clucking crazy. She lived in the city, couldn't have chickens. And I've got salt and pepper shakers. Uh... Different types. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think I'm seeing something up my alley, even. Look at this. Oh, look at this. If you don't know, I love, I love colored glass. Check that out. It's a chicken, one of my first loves, and colored glass. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is right up my alley. Christian, did you ever think I would find two of my loves blended into one? No. Okay, the only thing that would be better if this was a colored glass of George. That would be cool. What do you got there? It's just a little porcelain chicken. Another little chicken? Yeah. There's some salt and pepper. These are all odds and ends, small ones. Little odds, okay. Yeah. There's another glass she one She had right them there. all through her house. It's like the bunnies in that one unit. Yeah, I remember the bunny unit? Like bunny, 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 everything. Well, Grandma here was uh, chicken, 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 everything. If you give me a second, I'll grab a big tote of them. Wait, there's another tote? Oh, I've got a large tote of chickens. Of uh, chickens? Large tote of chickens. Christian, you think what I'm thinking? Decorations inside the chicken coop? Okay, that is a good idea. Good idea or bad idea? Glasses uh, might better go inside. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. glass could be inside, you know, like kind of the kitchen yeah, where George has already started. Um, you got a whole nother tote of chickens. Oh, yeah. Right at the bottom. Okay. Right down here? That big one right there. This one here? Yeah. Oh man. I'm kind of scared. I'm Actually, gonna... we can do this one. Chicken dishes. You got dishes too? Yeah. Okay. Whole set. Cracker Barrel. Back in the day. Came out with a whole chicken set. Did they really? Yep. Yeah. Bowls and plates. Alright, while well, you guys are looking at that, I'm gonna here, I'll slide that over here. Oh my goodness, there it is. Chicken's fragile. Fragile. Oh, Randall, Randall Opry, Opry. Yep. and you got a chicken cloth. Yep. You got plaster Paris oh chicken. Oh, that's ceramic. That's ceramic. I thought that was plaster Paris at first. Okay, you definitely have some chicken stuff. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, you got chicken stuff everywhere. Grandma was a chicken fan. Oh, that would look awesome in the Hales headquarters kitchen. All right, what do you got to have for all the chicken stuff? Oh. Let's see. We'll start at three. <laughs> Christian, should I spend that much money on George? I, I need to have a conference with Christian. What do you think, Christian? I don't know. Three? For, for chicken stuff? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could spend 300 and get a whole bunch of real chickens. You could get a lot of chickens. I, I don't know how much chickens cost, chickens. but... Um, usually about two dollars, three dollars a piece. Oh, yeah, that's like I at least get, I get a hundred chickens. Hundred fifty chicken. There might be more than a hundred chickens in there, though. These ones I don't have to feed. There's no expensive feed. They don't get any eggs. Mm, no eggs. This is a private meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Christian. Sorry. You used to never talk, and now all of a sudden, look at you, sassin. <laughs> um, you're at three hundred on the chickens. Yeah. I really, really like that glass one. What if I cut it in half? 150 for all the chickens. You really like that glass one. I really like that glass one. I do like that glass one. That glass one alone is probably close to half of what that 150 is. You think? Oh, yeah. Meet me in the middle at 200. Sounds good. 200 for the chickens. Another tote. And I like it already. There's Bambi. Christian, did you cry when you saw Bambi? 
Uh, I've honestly don't remember you seeing. Don't it. even know who Bambi is. I know who Bambi raisins. is. Oh, you do. I do know who Bambi is. I've Christian, never seen the movie though. Christian, this is a private conversation right here. This is. Stay. stay uh, please, I'll leave. Please stay. No, 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 Christian, come back. Look, there's uh, some action figures in there. There's Bambi right there. Check that out. Is that Michael Jackson? Yes, it is. Or is that James Brown? Michael Jackson? I don't know. Ow! Is that James Brown? No, that's Michael Jackson. Really? Yep. Doesn't even look I think like that them. was before he got burned in the Pepsi commercial. Yeah, yeah. There's Fred Flintstone. That would have been an old drink right there. Just <laughs> old just baby like bottles. Them. Oh, that was a baby bottle. Yep. You got Barney. Oh, too. there's Barney. How cool is that? Yeah, Barney. Okay. Got some old marbles. You know who loves marbles? Debbie Vaughn. Debbie Vaughn loves marbles. She's the one. She'll she'll want to buy marbles. Some old. Is that Disney as well? I think it's more Hardee's giveaway. Oh, stuff. Hardee's. Because like like your grandparents raisins. loved yeah. Hardee's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Old Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse bank. You see a bank? Yeah, yeah. bank up top. A bank. Rubber in the bottom. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Even has the bottom. Now, that's the thing. When you're looking at banks, so hard to find them with the rubber because the rubber topper or stopper at the bottom, those usually deteriorated. But if you can find them, the value goes up. These were uh, old Bigfoot toys back in the day. You put batteries in them yeah. and stuff. Yeah. You have tra truck and tractor pulls. Christian, you know what we got to try, right? Yes, I do know this, actually. You know now. Ready? Oh, oh no. Well, it's just working. Here. Oh, no. The moo is broken. It's kind of in there, though. I know there's some stuff in top that could be blocking it. It's the old fencing. I think the, the horse is in there. A little bit of everything. Feeding trough. It's cool stuff. Very cool stuff. That's not the second one of those I've seen. Chinese checkers? That's two now. Look, at, look, at, look how versatile you're coming with uh, old toys and stuff. Very cool. Um, these ninja guys, I have no clue, but I looked them up, and apparently they are kind of sought after. I can't remember the name that's on them. Who are they? Who are they? I... That was like, sh like Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. kind of looks yeah. like Shredder, doesn't They're it? supposed to be some knockoff brand, but apparently they're just kind of sought after. Huh, interesting. One Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, those are the cassette tapes. Yeah, okay. These are what you were asking so, right here. So, I used to have... I see what you got here. All right, so these were for the Transformers. So, I, I was I was sharing a story earlier that uh, I had I had this transforming cassette tape, and it was an orange cassette tape when I was a kid, and I've never seen them since. But they were the actual size of a of an actual cassette tape that you put in a cassette deck. So, these are different. Super cool, though. So this would go inside Optimus Prime. Yeah. And then... If it was the tall Optimus, it would, they would go into his dude, chest and stuff. There you go, right there. They can form and uh, transform. <laughs> I can't remember. I think that guy's a bird right there. Very cool. Yep, Transformers right there. Very cool. I had only seen the, the tape that I had once in my life. It's when I had it. And I wish I still had it. But uh, I probably sold it in a garage sale for a nickel, knowing me. Do you remember Spinges? No, what is it? Set this up here for a second. Yeah, we gotta we gotta figure this out. Oh, it's it's got to be a it's, spin it's, it's the word ninja. It's got, but it's spinja. Never seen it. It's Beyblade. It's, it's pre Beyblade. Yeah, it's early Beyblade. You yeah. know this, Christian? Well, I mean, it's early. I don't know this. I know Beyblade. Beyblade. But I mean, you. I can put spinja together. Okay, pick your guy. Okay. okay. Twist him in there. All right. And then we're going to battle. Yep. Three, two. Oh, it's oh, going oh. pretty fast. Did I take you out or did you take me out? I think I just jumped straight out. Let's try another guy here. Just gonna win. Oh yeah, super cool. That's just fun. That's fun all the time, every that's, time. That's good stuff oh, right there. Me. Nice. So you knocked the other guy out. Yep. Super cool, man. No, I don't remember these either. These would have been fun. These would have been. Christian, you already got your eye on. We just got. We just gotta get these for the office. Okay. All right, Christian, how much are you going to offer him for this entire time? I don't time? have any money, Jeremy. Am I not paying you well enough? No, I just don't have any money. You I don't carry cash. You spend you spending it all? You I mean, something I, going on? I, 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 I got to buy food, Jeremy. You got a gambling problem? You want to talk mean, to sometimes. me? sometimes. We got to... So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you did have money, Christian, 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 if you did have money, 
How much would you offer him for this tote? Just of the whole tote? The whole tote. Well, I don't remember what was in there. Uh, you just filmed five minutes of it. <laughs> There's toys random loose some... toys, cars. There's a red line. There's a red line right there. You know Conky loves red lines. Conky does. All right, what would you offer him? Put it in Conky's court. Conky, how much is it? <laughs> Jeremy. My calculations say get it for as cheap as possible, Christian, if you don't have money. <laughs> and there's some Tonka trucks, too. So I mean... Some tin Tonka. Would Jeremy, you... how, much, how much would you offer? This is all you. You've, you've done been trained. What would you offer? This is not good training. Um, You're the one that says we got to have the ninja blades. I did That's say That's what that. it was, ninja blades? Uh, spinjas. Spinjas. You said we have to have the spinjas. All right. Well, what, what, what do you want for the tote? I have no clue. Oh, man, Christian, like we have a bunch of people no Christian idea. just did this right there is one of the things I taught him. All right. First rule in negotiations, never be the first to throw out a number. So he's, he's, he's actually applying what he's learned. All right. All right, uh, let's go. Seventy-five dollars. Silence is deafening. Don't be afraid of silence. Don't be afraid of silence. All right, silence. Rule number two. How about a hundred? I mean, it's not my money, so a hundred. Go fifty. See if he says yes at fifty. <laughs> but I'm going down for my first offer. I can't do that. That's just rude. All right, I did not train him well. That's just the reality. So, <laughs> so I'm giving him the wrong advice. So, two hundred it is. All right. Did you just? Did you? Did you... <laughs> you're buying. You're buying. Dinner is on you on the way home. All right. Tote of comics, right? Yep. All right. Tire tote here. What do you got in here? Oh, there's Batman, Superman, Tank Girl. Girl. Enigma. Robin. Robin. Look at that. There's your Batman right there. Okay, some more Batman. Superman. All right, what do you got to have for, for a tote like this? Um, Everything in there, I'm probably looking for 100 bucks. I know this guy right here that you just tossed in, that's a pretty sought after number one. So, $100. $100. There's over 100 comics in there. I think there's probably close to about 100 and... 120 or so. Like a comic. Oh, Christian just broke the bank on the last deal. Um, how much? How much cash did you bring again? I said I didn't bring any. Did you didn't bring me? any? No. Do you accept credit card? <sighs> cash is king. Cash is king. Um, with the deal that Christian just did on this tote, would you accept 50 for this tote? 75, yeah. 75, done deal. Done deal. Christian, that's how you do it. You don't go up, you go down. Not up, down. I'm going to give up the guitar on uh, Sunday Night Lives. I think I'm going to start the bagpipes. Do these work? I have no clue. There's only one way to find out. Sunday night, that's the way to find If If we can make a deal on this tote. What else is in this tote? We got some Thundercats and some Puppet Master guys, some wrestlers. Ric Flair. I think and this then... is Violator from Spawn. I think he just violated my hand. <laughs> Who's this dude right here? Uh, Tonka guy. I have no name for him, but he used to come in a big Tonka truck I had as a kid. See right there, and this is Tonka. Okay, so down here, we got this, some Smurfs. Uh, Smurfs are nice. This is the stamps, postcards. These are. Let me find a clear spot. Here. These are old. I think these are the postcards. These are old vintage postcards. They're dated 1964. 61. Oh, 64. I thought it was 61. Some okay. Old vintage Some postcards. Cards. Some of them still have stamps on the envelopes that are there. I still got some of these. In there. Yeah, got some. Some old stamps. And um, some other stuff in there, too. Yep, yeah, I've got another collection of stamps that are in there. All right, so tote like this. Stamps, Ric Flair, Smurfs, most importantly, bagpipes. What do you got to have on a tote like this? Oh, my goodness. Well, down here is the biggest. Oh, that's the that's the good good right there? This is the good good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I didn't even see that down there. Oh, he's this a big guy. That's a big boy. It's all vintage postcards. Postcards. Vintage postcards. Some okay. of them even still the same slips. George likes to sell postcard lots. You know why? Paper products. Paper products, she can send it media, but it's so easy to ship. And as a matter of fact, with it protected in this case, 
she could ship it even easier. So entire tote like this, postcards, action figures, bagpipes, what you got to have? I tell you what, with the way things have been going and stuff like that, how about we start at, start at 150. What do you think I should do, Christian? You already told me I can't do my negotiating. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hundred bucks for the whole tote. About twenty-five. Let's see. Jimmy, I don't think you blow in that end. Let me show you. Oh, is this the out? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I wasn't really sure. I just gotta know. Do they actually work? I'll show you some of these I was just things. teasing. I have no idea how these work. Well. I mean, this determines whether I buy it or not. You gotta, is, that's not a full bagpipe, is it? a silver note in here, too. You got a silver note in there? Oh, man, you're making this difficult. Is it a real silver note? Yeah, that's a silver note. That's the only one I got. There's some $2 bills in there, too. And I think there's a $1 bill that isn't even printed. Hmm. Nice. Uh, All right. 125 Done deal. Bagpipes don't work, but that's okay. Nobody wanted to hear me play them anyway. 125. Assortment of stuff. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of every. Dude, looks like they're using a little Pokemon book. Pokemon in there. book. Oh, bam! Those are great ones. Okay, what's that? What do you got there? These came off of a line producing the old Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon cars for GM. These were supposed to go in for your speedometer, but I think somebody kind of snitched them off the line and took them from the yeah. line. They ended up in my possession. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and then you got a piece of the Berlin Wall right here. Oh, wow. An they, actual piece of the Berlin Wall. Yeah, when they tore it down, they did a uh, promotional sale where you can actually buy a little chunk of the concrete. Christian, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm, maybe, probably not. We should have sold parts of the old warehouse. Maryland's old warehouse. I mean, it was I mean, already it was falling, falling apart. pieces anyway. Yeah. We should have did a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, we could sell we could sell rocks from the creek, Christian. What do you think? think? People buy them? No, no, I, I do not. <laughs> and if anybody writes, if anybody, yeah, you could make turtles out of them. That's true. If anybody goes, hey, we want a rock. If, if any rock they should have bought, it should be from Conky from the five hundred dollar rock unit that was our nightmare. Oh, there's even more goodies down here. This a full Oneida silverware set. That's a, like an $800 silverware set. Silver or silver plated? Uh, it's just it's just their stainless steel, stainless steel? dining okay. set. Yeah, she got it and she probably had it maybe not even six months before they passed. And okay. So that's all brand new. And then this is all uh, Betty Crocker. Chardemagne or whatever it's called. Full set of that. Stainless steel as well? Yeah. Hmm. If it was silver, I'd be keeping it to use. Yeah, I would say. All right. A tote like this. And if you're not if you're not interested in the silverware, I'm I'm more than happy to keep it. I actually am not. So even though the sets are beautiful and, and they're expensive, I can buy a storage unit and find sets like that. Right. And and to be too honest and blunt, we typically end up just donating them, and uh, because we find so many, so that that I'm not going to be interested in. It's an old Kentucky Derby decanter. That is cool. Real pretty emerald green. Look at that green. Yeah, that is beautiful. I'm gonna pass on that too because it's glass. Uh, if we were, if we were to take like, like some of the Detroit Tigers, we stuff, could toss that in with the with the other and Detroit. Did we go through this stuff yet? Oh, we got yeah, that's Cali Rays and stuff. Yeah, we, we did go. I think we that. got a couple more boxes. Maybe some totes. Totes. maybe some totes. I don't uh, think we either family. That's we ain't messing around with family stuff. We ain't messing around with that. Uh, we went through all that. Did we go through all the card boxes? No, I don't think we went through this kiss box. I haven't gone through the kiss box. How much you got to have for the kiss box? Oh, he's a kiss fan, Jeremy. I know he is a kiss fan. I mean, I'm a fan of kisses. I mean, like me a good sloppy wet kiss, but um, there's some Pez in here too. Check that out. That has the original comic printed in blood in there that they promoted in the 70s. It's down down under there? Yep. We got, we got a little everything. Misfits guy here. Doyle from the Misfits. That guy's going pretty good. Plastic check. Um, Christmas ornaments. A little bit of everything. Some full characters. Action figures. Action figures in the box. 
Oh, the comics down here. Yeah. Ever see one of those? Yeah, I have. Yep. Christian, who is that? Charles Mason. Manson. Mason? You, not Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. You are you got this. I, I learned how to read recently. It, with, kind was of. there a cheat sheet on there? I didn't even see it. Yeah, it was, it was on there. All right. This is the original Kiss comic printed in Kiss Blood. Like, actually? Yep. That's oh, weird. To do. Printed in real Kiss Blood. That is mm. weird. That's just a clever marketing thing. Kiss Blood's just a red juice. Yeah, Gene Simmons somebody, is the king of marketing. Somebody bit their <laughs> tongue and... Alright, so a tote like this. Kiss everything. Yeah, Even got one. Kiss cars. Look at that. There's the Kiss cars. Original Groove magazines. Alright, what do you gotta have for a tote like this? Um, For my entire collection of Kiss stuff, I have been asking close to 500 for, but... How would you drill for four? For all your Kiss stuff? Mm hmm How many totes of Kiss stuff you got? Just this one. Just the one? Just the one. Mm. What do you think, Christian? I don't know. Christian, I'm not good at this. I, I'm not the negotiator, Jeremy. You don't bring me to negotiate. You're, you're part of you're part of the round table here. I have to come to you and I I, toss I, around I ideas. Understand. And I understand. Mean, you think I, you're tossing you think. around ideas? I mean, I, to me, it sounds okay. I mean, it sounds reasonable, but I also have no idea. Have we been selling any kiss stuff? Original I think kiss we cards in the pack. Oh, there, there you go. There's some kiss cards in the pack. Is We've definitely that? sold kiss stuff. It's just I don't know how much more is actually even left. Of for us to sell, like we have posters and records. Okay, so if we were to, if we were to, you want four hundred for all the kiss stuff for that one tote? Yeah. Can say we have not had any like kiss items like this. The original comic goes for a hundred all day. So. Okay. Let's say we throw in the kiss stuff. And your box Hummel stuff. If we put the Kiss stuff and the box Hummel stuff together, what do you got to have? If we bundle it up. Let's do a bundle deal. Hummel, innocent, pure. Kiss, not so, not not so, so. innocent, pure. <laughs> and we mash them all up. What do you got to have? Where are we at? Where are we at right now? Yeah. $1,500. With what we've agreed on so far. You make it even two out the door. So that's with the kiss and the hummels? Yeah. Two grand out the door? What do you think, Christian? I think it sounds all right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Thanks, sir. All these totes are cards? Yeah. So that one, that one, we kind of we we skimmed, skimmed through that. We skimmed through yeah, some of those, right? Yeah. All right. That's and then, and then we skimmed yeah, through that because that, that was the yeah. vampire set. And if we were to go down, all right, that feels like... That's some serious sets yeah. in there. That's cards. George likes selling cards. All right, and then that that one too. That's all yeah, cards. These are all, all boxes. Okay. All all boxes of cards. Are those knives over there? Yep. These are knives. Yep. All right. Look at that. Oh, there's Barlow. Okay. A lot of those are probably my grandfather's when he was a little kid because he wow. always had a pocket knife with him. Something I almost never have is a pocket knife. Okay, so that's all knives there. Knives here. Knives in the box, yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five totes. Uh, Christian and I have been loading some things up. I think I have room for about six more totes. There's five here. You got knives. What, what do you got to have for this if you were to balk it all? Say three. I don't even know what's in it. Don't know what's in it. Uh, you're saying three for everything. Three for everything. For the five totes, the knives, whatever's on there. Uh, was that with the blanket? That was part of the other tote. So yeah, that's oh, I already bought that. Yeah, you already bought that. You can sell it to me twice. <laughs> um, cool, you just bought it twice. <laughs> okay, so three. Christian, you're my man. Yes or no? I think that sounds good. All right, Christian says it's a deal. Three. I've got room for one more tote. And, and that's... If I leave Christian here with you. So, Christian, you may be staying behind. Master negotiator. Um, let's see what we got. A bunch of vintage plush. plushies. Um, got okay. some Alvin and the Chipmunks. Boat. Boat. Some. Ba -da -da -da. Is that Pinocchio? Yeah. You got Disney? This is all Disney. All 
Walt Disney right there. Pinocchio, Lady and the Tramp. Tag is Dumbo, still on. Tag is still on. on. We just sold one uh, plush. We bought the tote for, I think, $5. And uh, one of our fans shared that um, they sold one of the plushies. And I don't know which one. But it was two hundred and fifty dollars sold it for. I don't know which one. That's we don't go through things. Mm -hmm. um, but with with the Disney ones in there, what do you think you got to have for this one? Uh, I priced everything out to the T, and it came up to three seventy five. That's sold on eBay. Which I'm not eBay. I'm gonna yep. bulk it. Um, you think we could do a deal? One one last tote I can fit. And it would, uh, this deal, if it did happen, it would bring us to a beautiful round number. W would you do 100 for the tote? Yeah. 100? 100 bucks. Done deal. Do I see a toto? A turtle. I see a toto. Look at that. I like totos. I like this. What's this here? There's a gift bag for you guys. Gift bag? Okay. I uh, set it up to mail it and just never got to mail it. it. Never got in the mail? These? Maybe. I'm still gonna have to open this up on the Sunday Night Live if it was mm -hmm. supposed to be mailed. Look at that, Ghostbuster 2! Hardies, oh my goodness. Two giant posters I in love there. it, I love it. George was saying she didn't have any any watches. Okay. My grandmother used to wear fancy watches and stuff and then she went and simplified. And you just need some batteries. And put it on a ring. Yep. Nice. One of those. Nice. And there's a couple of little chickens. And then you guys can probably go back over it on the line if you want. There's a little I turtle. I like chickens. There's a little turtle. I like turtles. I like chickens. I like focus on the small things. We've got a frosted glass nativity set here as well. Super cool. It's a yep. whole turtle pack, man. You ever had Dixie pecans? No. <laughs> you ever seen a Dixie, no. Dixie pecan? No. No, what is it? Oh, I love oh man. It. What is it? I it's a Dixie pecan. Love Dixie pecans. Oh, you pee in the can. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> about the size of my bladder. Getting older feels like that. Yeah, you just keep going, keep going, keep going. I noticed I didn't see one of these on your shelf. Oh, I actually, I've been looking for this. Look at that. That's the original VHS Ghostbusters. Check that out. That's where it all started when I was a kid. I wanted to be a Ghostbuster. Right there. Very cool. Some old school chattering teeth for you. Oh, that's going on a shelf. That's going on a shelf for sure. You would wind these up and then... And then that's, that's going on a shelf. Now, I did have a, an Elvis pendant, and I haven't come across it. If I do, I will mail it to you. You know guys. what? We don't need any Elvis. We don't need anything <laughs> but, Elvis. Do but we just, this, my good. grandmother loved we're wearing good. this. She'd wear it a lot. And oh, my goodness. George is going to love that. George. George is going to love that. I might give that back. I might give that to her as soon as I get home. She's headed to Miami tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. She's got peacock earrings. I bet you she would wear that, too. <laughs> got some Ghostbuster cups here that I was going to send to you. Very cool. A couple little Elvis pins. Stamp pins. I mean, if those get lost on the way, they get lost. I just, uh, you know, whatever <laughs> I, happens, happens. I don't know. I know you use picks for your guitar I do. playing. I've got some metallic picks and brass, copper, oh, nice. stainless steel. Uh, some that I punched myself. Oh, Very um, cool. Very cool. Those. And then I notice on your lives, when you're scraping your strings, yeah. you're getting a lot of fret noise. Yeah, and it tons of up that. Mic. I use this. Nice. Finger ease. Yep, just spray the it grease. on there, and it will no more squeaking on your lives. Might might be might, might help if I had a nice guitar too, but um, <laughs> not complaining. I love what we find. Try elixir strings; those are really good. Yeah, cut down the noise. I, I might have some of those. And then one of my old band T-shirts. I made this custom for my dad. He is now since passed, but you're the only person I know that can fill this shirt. Because I'm so fat. No, you're not. P H T P H. Wait, it's P H A T. Yeah, you know, I can't read or spell. P H A T. That's super cool, man. Heard it through the grapevine. Oh, you emailed me that that you needed some money for for a bathroom. You shared that she's actually even fallen in here, right? Yeah, she she hit her right right hip and right leg pretty bad, and it's not affecting her sleep every night now. So. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully this helps. Um, they are a little rolled. So those are uh, stink stacks there. So those are, but let's count them out. Here we go, you ready? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Will it help? Yeah. And there you go. New bathroom on the way.